every move I make. Mo. Yeah. Well, hello. Welcome to Messy Church Online for July. I'm Matthew and this is Henry. And welcome to our home. We live in the centre of Ringwood and this is our house. It's where we live um, and it's where uh, we do family together. I wonder where you're watching from and what sort of home you have because every home, every house is different. Now I didn't build this house and that's a really good thing because I don't think I'd make a very good builder. But some people did and they use skill and they use knowledge to build this house well to make sure it remains standing. And today we're going to think about the wise and foolish builders we meet in the Bible. And I'm going to hand over to, to the Messy Church team to tell us more. See you soon. Bye. Mom? Hi everybody. Buildings are amazing things, aren't they? But it's really important that you build them on the right foundation. So today we're going to be finding out about the right place to build your house in Messy Church. Enjoy. Hello. Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Haunters for Messy Church again. Um, today we're going to be making little houses out of loo rolls. So you're going to need uh, two loo rolls each, um, a pair of scissors, some um, yellow pencils or pens. Some yellow pencils or pens for some Orange sand. Orange card for the roof. Anything that will make a good roof. Some white card. Some white card to make some... What's the white card for? Well, the white card is for the, the door windows and doors. And the windows. You need eight windows and one door. Yeah, we need a stapler and, um, and, a, big, and a piece of paper to um, draw your sand and your rocks on. So... Snoozer, what's the story? Well, there was um, a foolish man and like and um, a normal man. Wise and, man. And a wise man. And the wise man wanted to build his his house on rocks. And he told the the um, greedy man, the foolish man, the foolish man, that it would blow away and crumble. And so, and then. The foolish man said, no, 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 it'll be fine. And God said, no, um, it, it will blow away. Your friend's right. But he didn't listen and built his, built his house on, on the um, sand. And then all the rain came and washed it away. But the wise man's house was still here. Yeah, so and we'll show everybody what away. happens in a minute. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut... We'll show you how it's made. Cut, yeah, cut the loo roll. That's right, exactly like that. And make so it will base. hopefully look like this. Yeah. And then you've got to like push the ends out like that. Very so good. And, and then you have to staple it. And then, well, well what no. you do is you stick, you cut out your little windows. So you need... Well, you cut, out the, cut out the little windows and stick them onto your house like this. And, and a little door. You can decorate your house at whatever you like. And you'll need a pencil to do the rocks and a yellow pencil. And you, you can scribble on the pa paper, but make sure it's on the edge, otherwise the stapler won't get to it. Excellent. So, um, do you want to stick your roof on to your very yeah. Do you want to stick your roof on? Now, Bet, what, how's your house coming along? What I would suggest mm. is That's to a get a uh, dot of glue in the middle like this. My carpet. So, as mm -hmm. you can see, the dot is in the middle, and then stick it on the top. Uh, slightly on the top. Yeah, that's it. And then there you go. Yeah. When so you're, let's um, get some yes, When you've done making both of your houses, you will need to scribble with the pencil on close to the sides, and with those slits, staple them. Yeah. So then you can, if it's close to the side there, you get your stapler, and just on the edge where the uh, the loo roll has been. Um, Split out. You can staple that to the rocks. And then like on, that. The sand, on the sand, you don't staple it. You just pick it down just on the sand. It down. And when you're ready and it's done, blow really hard. Because the wind and the rain came, and what happened to the house on the sand? It <gasps> blew over. <gasps> so. 
So, there's your <laughs> So, Jesus' parable teaches us to build our, ha- uh, build our lives on strong foundations, listening to Jesus' words through his stories, um, so that um, we are going to stand firm when the winds and the rain come. So have fun making your um, your houses. Lovely to see you at Messy Church again, and we shall hopefully see you soon. Okay, are you ready? The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock, and the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up. The rain came down and the floods came up, and the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand, and the rain came tumbling down. So this is a fun activity you might enjoy to do with the story. Um, Izzy and Siobhan have both built a little house here with some Jenga bricks and some building bricks. Siobhan's built hers on a nice sturdy flat stone on a rock, but Izzy's built hers on the sand. So we're going to see what happens if we make it rain. So if Siobhan you'd like to come and get the rain and see what happens. Let's just see what happens when it makes it rain. Don't pour it too quickly otherwise that thing's going to come off. Okay, let's see the house on That's still standing and it's pouring with rain. Okay, now try it on the sand. Well, I think you must, oh, it's starting to go. Yes, you must have built that pretty well. But it did fall over a bit. So thank you girls very much. Okay. So we've established, I think, that it was better on the, on the rock. So now we're going to go over to Luke and his family for the rest of the story. Bye for now. Anyone who hears these words of mine and obeys them is like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, and the wind blew hard against that house, but it did not fall because it was built on the rock. Anyone who hears these words of mine and does not obey them is like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain poured down, the rivers overflowed, the wind blew hard against that house and it fell. What 
was Jesus saying? Say hi guys. Hi. So today's reading is about the parable of the wise and foolish builders. Now Jesus says that there were two people and each one wanted to build a house. One built their house on the sand and the other on the rock. Now the sand and the rock are like the things we trust our lives to. And here we have a few examples. Now there's one thing that we can put our trust in. And here is our one thing. This is the word of God. This is something we can trust in. It's immovable and it's unbreakable and we can build our lives upon. Now you guys have got some examples too. Here we have health, which is our custard. Now we could build our house on the custard. We've also got people. We could build our lives on trusting in people. Verity, can you build that? And Jesse, we also have money. We could trust our lives to money and try and build our house on that. Now, if as we grow up, we believe that having a good life is built on getting more money, or that having a good life is built on keeping fit and healthy, or that a good life is built on who likes us and how many friends we have, the life we lead might look really great, because these are beautiful houses, but it will be fragile. If, on the other hand, we trust in God's word and follow his teaching, and we live knowing that Jesus died for us, so that we can talk to God and have life with him, then our lives might look very different, but they'll be super strong. Now in the next part of the story, Jesus talked about the storms of life and how they represent the things, Jesse, how they represent the things that can happen in our lives to shake us or make us feel uncomfortable. So let's say we lost all our money or we got sick, or well, no one wanted to be our friend. This could make us feel sad and think, why? And to keep going would be really hard. But if our life is built on the rock that is Jesus, then if any of these storms happen, we might feel sad, but it won't stop us from keeping going. And actually, the joy of trusting in Jesus makes life the first page of God's great story in which every chapter is better than the one before. For I'm building a people of power And I'm making a people of praise That will move through this land by a So did you have fun doing the crafts and singing the songs? 
it was a great messy church online, wasn't it? We hope you had a fabulous time. And if you want to send us some pictures of the crafts being done in your home, then we'd love you to do that. We hope you have a wonderful summer. We hope the weather holds and you can enjoy trips to the beach or picnics or, or whatever you do as a family to enjoy yourselves. If you want to send us pictures of that, then we'd love to receive them. But from me, from Izzy, who's darting around the, the camera, and from Henry, uh, we want to send you our love and our prayers uh, for a fantastic August. And we'll see you again for Messy Church Online in September. God bless. Goodbye. For I'm building a people of